So the little girl doing somersaults is number eight. In the middle is number two, another girl. And to the right, with the yellow ribbon, is number three. And number three is a male. And obviously, the purple ribbons are girls. Um, you can see with these three how big these girls are compared to this boy. But he is the smallest of the three boys. My goodness, look at that. <laughs> yeah, the one on the left is my favorite girl so far. She's really dark, too. But if I take this boy, look at that big poop stain. I need to clean this again. This is another boy. This is number four. And he's a medium sized boy. And it really kind of gives you an idea of how big these pups are, how well they're growing. Here's a girl sneaking in under the shoulder, or the elbow rather, next to the boy. So we have five at the buffet. <laughs> I have this gnarly scratch on my lens. You could see it. Kind of dulls everything that it passes over. So, because I don't have collars yet, I have purple ribbons for the girls and yellow ribbons for the boys. So, here's the one boy. <laughs> And then this guy, number four. And my favorite of the boys is this handful right here. Number six, the beast. He's like a bear cub among puppies. Nice red male. And then three more girls sleeping in this pile. This is the smallest girl, or the smallest pup in the litter, number seven. And it looks like she's been doing some catching up because if she were red, like these two girls, there would really be not much size difference at all, whereas a few days, just a couple, three days ago, it was definitely obvious that she was the smallest pup, so it's good to see her growing and catching up. Very pleased to see that. Clearly Siren is doing something right. Aren't you, Mama? <laughs> oh, it's a busy life for Siren. No shortage of the good stuff. Lauren, I would leave if I were you. So... These two, whoops, roly poly. Look at this mess, I gotta clean. Oh. These two are definitely red. See that stripe down the back? This one's much darker. And I think, let's see, we have two red boys and one black boy and then we have four uh how many puppies are there <laughs> I can't 
can't keep track. They're changing so much. I think we have three. Yes, we have three black girls and three red girls to two red boys and one black boy for a total of nine of everybody. So much fun watching these guys grow. They're just growing fast. And they're so plump and just so squishy. You just want to kind of squeeze one. <laughs> squeeze! You're missing out on dinners. And what I find amazing is when mom steps in to the whelping box and usually they're sleeping but there'll be some level of commotion and right away they start waking up and they throw their noses up and like within seconds man they're on the trail to mom it's like they can't see yet they can't hear, they just smell, and they are good at it. <laughs> like, freakishly good at it. So it's just so cool to see how dependent these guys are, yet they can manage to, you know, to find out, to find mom, and to get food, and just move about and keep warm and cool down and whatever they need to do they're just like able to do it it's pretty amazing do you see the size of this puppy look look at him next to everybody else he stands out doesn't he He's a beast. So hopefully within a few next next few days we'll have ribbons. I mean uh, collars or at least colored ribbons at least for everybody so that we can start um, keeping track better. Right now because I've been doing this like three hours a day probably total no probably more like five <laughs> five hours a day I can tell I can tell everybody apart um, usually on a day like today or right now I'm pretty tired so they kind of start to blend together but you watch them for a couple of minutes and you can tell who's who right away just by size and <clears throat> little differences in shading and um, you know it's just it gets easy so I'm gonna end here and um, more to come <laughs>